Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Friday. Coming at you with 2019-2020 Panini Prism Basketball 20 box blaster case, a full blaster case. Break number 10, random team break number 10. There's the case right there. A very big thank you to all of these folks right here. Thanks ladies and gentlemen. Let's double you up right here as well. One spot gets you two teams in this break and all 30 basketball teams are in. Let's roll it and randomize it three times. Easy. One and a two. One, two, and three. After three times, we've got Rob on the pole, and we've got Rich Schmidt in the 30 spot. We got after three times, we've got the teams here. One, two, three. And after three, we've got the Phoenix Suns on top and the Pistons on the bottom. All right, so Rob, you have the Phoenix Suns, Dan with the Jazz, Tony with the Sixers, Steven, with your last spot mojo, you have the Rockets and the Memphis Grizzlies, my Lakers hosting the Grizzlies tonight. Should be a good game. Josh Bruce, I think it's an ESPN game too. Josh with the Hornets, Rich with the Nuggets, Kevin with the Celtics, Dan with the Bucks, Justin with the Pacers, Mark with the Nets, Josh Bruce, you got my Lakers. Rob with the Hawks, Kings for Bill, Justin with the Mavs, Knicks for Diane, Bill with the Warriors and Trailblazers, Tony with the Bulls, Rob, you got the Wizards, Christian with the Magic, Bill with the Thunder, Rob with the uh, Raptors and the Pelicans. Diane with the Cavs, Mark with the Spurs, Christian with the Timberwolves, Kevin with the Clippers, Rob with the Heat, and Rich with the Detroit Pistons. Demboya hunting there. Let's sort this by team. And looks like uh, Kevin Crouch saying Clippers for Pacers maybe. We'll hit the pause button really quick on this video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break. Stick around. All right, welcome back, folks. A little bit of trade chatter, but no deals were done. So here on a Friday, the 21st, uh, the 20 box blaster, random team 10, Prism Basketball. Good luck to everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you for getting into the action. Now, as you know, with the blasters, I believe the autographs are fewer and far between than the hobby editions, but a lot of fun little parallels that we can chase out of here, which makes it exciting. Top camera over there, you can see the boxes being unboxed. All right, hey, 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 how's it going? All right, so you can see on the top camera. That there's five boxes there, five boxes there, another five right here, another five right there to make 20. Move some of these boxes over here though. So we'll start with this group right here first. All right. I'm gonna open up a handful of boxes first and then we will go from there. No, you're right the first time. This is this is Friday. Your Friday, my Thursday. We got, a, we got a big slate of basketball games today, ladies and gentlemen. Your national games today. We've got one coming up in about a couple hours. And that'll be Nuggets at Thunder. Nuggets at Thunder in a couple hours. Then my Lakers play at 7.30 LA time. I think there's another late ESPN game at 7.30 LA time. Pelicans at Blazers. That should be interesting. I don't know is uh, 
Is Damian Lillard playing today? I, I, I know he's been battling an injury. That would be cool if he plays today. Zion at Damian Lillard and CJ McCollum, etc., etc. That should be a good game. Nice, thanks, Trey. Are you on are you on Twitter, Trey? You should you should send it at Jaspie's Breaks. I tend to look at that far more than I do the emails. I don't even I don't really look at the emails. Daniel says he's out about three to five. Okay, so it's just just Zion versus C.J. McCollum. Then I like C.J. McCollum. And Zion with a national game tonight, so that should be pretty fun. Uh, Sonics play. Sonics are hosting the Nuggets tonight, Jimmy. in Oklahoma City as the Thunder. When are they going to put a team back there? an R.J. Barrett right on top. That'll, uh, just a base, Diane, but nice R.J. Barrett. There's Alan Crabb, sensational jersey, Atlanta Hawks with that one. That will be for Rob. There's Paul George. Still battling some nagging injuries, Paul George. Did the Lakers sign the other Morris twin? Is that right? Isn't one on the Clippers? It's Quinn Cook. Jackson Hayes, green. It's Chris Dunn, and then there's DeAndre Jordan, Nets edition. That's going to go to Mark Copeland, the Brooklyn Nets. Where would they play? Hockey took the key center. Well, I'm sure there. it is 2020, William. They're, they have found ways to put a hockey arena inside a basketball arena. I would imagine they would just put them right where the hockey team plays. Jimmy says the key is going to be multi-sport. There you go. That would make sense. I don't know if the uh, NBA is not expanding anytime soon, right? The best chance for Seattle, I would guess, would have to be a team moving. There's Kyle Lauer. When's the last time a team moved? Was it the Sonics to, the, to Oklahoma City? There's Kyle Lowry for the Raptors, Rob. There's Sir Charles. And a hollow, no, a silver, they call it silver in prison. It's a silver, Matisse Tybel. It's not too bad. Tony Barkey with the Sixers. Sixers fans really like the Matisse Tybel. Turning out to be a pretty strong player for that team. Plays great defense. Tyler Hero, Silver Instant Impact. What's up, Cody? Oh, was it Charlotte to? No, you're thinking you, you're thinking Charlotte to New Orleans. Was that more recent than the Thunder move? And it all blurs in together. I guess I'm, 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 I guess I'm saying what was the most recent one? 
I know teams have moved. I just don't remember what the most recent trade, the re the most recent move was. Dirk Nowitzki. But yeah, William is good. I mean, but who would move? That's what William's asking. That that is the question. Who would move? So the last one was OKC. Nice Zion, just a base Zion, but I mean that might cover your spot already, Rob, in the Pelicans, that Pelican spot right there. Nice Zion. We'll see him on national television tonight. It doesn't, it doesn't seem I'm looking at the NBA standings right now. Here's the link in the chat. I I just Right, the, and the other complication is that there's also um, there's also uh, the divisions. Because OKC, I think, is still in the Northwest division. They're clearly not in the Northwest. So William is maybe thinking Minnesota to Seattle? That wouldn't screw up the divisions. No, see, everyone talks like, oh, maybe Sacramento Kings will move. They just moved into a new arena, like, what, a year or two ago? So they're not going anywhere. I think they're pretty entrenched in there. They're not going to spend like a zillion dollars on an arena and then move, at least not for the next 30 years or something, 20, 30 years. Minnesota? Would they move? Clippers? I'd like to see, I mean, Clippers to Seattle. I mean, Balmer does have ties to, to the Pacific Northwest. That's what everyone initially thought, but he seems to be battling. He seems to be thinking uh, that he wants to try to build another arena here in L.A., their, uh, their own Clippers arena. And really, the, the market is much is much bigger here. I mean, the Chargers moved from San Diego to LA and like Forbes business had had their franchise almost double in value. <laughs> just 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 cuz they moved. Not next year, Cameron. They I mean they're trying to build an arena in the near the Forum next year. But the problem is is that the Forum is owned by Madison Square Garden Entertainment. And they do a ton of concerts there. Forum still in Inglewood. They rebuilt into a really great concert venue. So they're battling a radius clause there. Having another similar size entertainment venue in that area could be is a is a battle that they have to fight. Well, Cody, we were initially thinking, man, relocation, I thought would make sense, but maybe expansion makes more sense. It seems like it's kind of hard to figure out where, you know, maybe the NBA will have to plan for 32. You know, they, they get team team 31 and then event and plan for team 32. It'd have to, it would have to be a two team plan. If they want to do that to expand to 32, like I feel like there's there's already a lot of teams. Seattle and Las Vegas would 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 make sense. I guess that would be that's not bad, Panda. Yeah, Seattle. They and they could play where the new Seattle hockey team's gonna play, and then in Vegas, that's where the, where the Knights play. They can do that. But I don't like yeah, I don't like expansion either. Look at the Eastern Conference. I mean, the you know. There, there's just a lot of – it's hard to get talent spread across 30 teams. So I think that would be difficult. Casey Okpala goes to Miami, Rob, with that silver 
rookie card. It's a San Whiteside for the Trailblazers, Bill. So I don't know. I think I, th I think it'd be tough. Well, speaking of Seattle, there's Sean Kemp. That'll go to OKC in the group break. There's Dwayne Bacon. Dwayne Bacon, I think, in a G League game, dropped, what, 40, 50 points on a team? I think expansion probably makes the more, most sense if you want to try to get a team in Seattle. Moving seems a little difficult, but I don't know. We'll see. I mean, I'm looking at the standings right now. Nikhil Alexander-Walker for Rob, another silver rookie. I mean, I don't think anyone... I guess OKC moving back to Seattle kind of makes sense. I don't know if Minnesota's going to... They're going to move Minnesota, right? Clippers would make sense, but I don't know if Bomber, Steve Ballmer doesn't want to move out of L.A. I mean, Pelicans maybe? Maybe with Zion, you know, the Pelicans are, are reestablishing some roots down there. There's Grant Williams for the Celtics, Kevin Crouch. Atlanta, I don't think Atlanta's going to move. Charlotte, maybe? How's, I mean, what's, what's basketball in Charlotte like? There's Darius Garland. Better chance with Charlotte think, thinking Trey. Is WrestleMania even really going to be at Ram Stadium next year? Man, there's going to be a lot of fun events in the Ram Stadium next year. What about Orlando? There's Cam Reddish, Silver Instant Impact. I don't know. It, it's 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 difficult. Orlando's got some history in that city, so Shaq and Dwight Howard and stuff. Kind of hard to move those guys too. Hachimura going to Rob. Speaking of Shaq, there he is. Miles Turner for the Pacers. That's going to be for Justin. Hey, no, I can't see the Pacers move. I mean, that's a lot of love for basketball in Indiana. Yeah, well, I don't know what the Orlando situation is, Rich. Rich is saying the Magic have no draw in Orlando, so maybe the Magic move. Move, move, the, move the Magic to Seattle. You know, and then, then the Heat can have Florida. And if there's, I mean, the Magic are kind of a, they're not a horrible team. John Morant base going to Steven. Just a base, but every everyone counts. Tremont, Waters. For the Celtics, Kevin Crouch with another relic. Maybe the Jazz. I think people, I think Utah loves their Jazz. I think they still fill that arena, right? I think they're gonna, they do all right. Do another handful of boxes here. Yeah, 
Yeah, maybe Orlando, maybe Charlotte. Although I don't think Jordan's going to move that team, right? I think Jordan likes North Carolina. I mean, OKC, I guess, could go back. Someone mentioned Phoenix. Cody Chapman mentioned Phoenix. Not sure about Phoenix. I'm not sure what's going on in Phoenix. Flipcoin are uh, saying are the Lakers covering tonight? I don't. I I didn't take a side in that game. I don't think so. I'm not advocating the other side per se, but I wasn't confident enough to lay the points. Eleven. I think it's around eleven right now. It feels like a lot. I mean, like Grizzlies are a pretty gritty team, but they are on a what second night of a back to back. I think so. So I don't know. I think Minnesota would be the easiest, William, for a team to move to Seattle. You know, it's it's they're still in the Northwest. We can keep it. There's no divisional complications. So, yeah, and Williams' argument is that they're kind of historically underachieving, right? They didn't really do much with 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 KG. They they kind of showed glimpses in recent years, Jimmy Butler, but that chemistry didn't quite work out with that team. What's the ownership situation like? I mean, maybe they're just good owners, but they're just putting together bad teams. That's a possibility. Do they still draw? What's the attendance like out there? All right, next box. Carson Edwards, rookie silver. That goes to Kevin and the Celtics. Oh, and we got Dwight Powell relic, sensational relic. Stephen Punk says Devin Booker needs to be out of Phoenix, needs to be with Golden State. I don't think there's enough uh, enough basketballs. What's what's he gonna do when? What's what's he gonna do when uh, Clay Thompson and Steph Curry are back? Where does he play? No, the Devin Booker doesn't fit there. Is D Wade. Nice one for the Heat. Rob with the Heat. Oh, the the Timberwolves owner also owns the Minnesota Lynx and is also a senator in Minnesota. A state senator or a U.S. senator? Yeah, maybe that team's not going anywhere. <laughs> P.J. Washington, Charlotte Hornets, Josh Proops. Maybe expansion. I'm not a huge fan of expansion, though. I mean, they've talked about expansion in baseball for a long time, but, you know... There's been a lot of concerns about just overall quality. 
you know, team the current teams are having a hard time filling out like a decent starting rotation, you know. You know, add two more teams to that, plus all of their minor league, plus all of their minor league, uh, their farm system players. I mean, there's Bowl Bowl. Denver Nuggets, that'll go to Rich. I don't know what the... I've never heard DC, the Wizards, I've never heard them in, like, team moving conversation. But I don't know what their situation is like there. All right, some more boxes. But I would like to see Seattle with a team. It'd be kind of interesting to have like a, a, a Seattle kind of Portland. There's like a natural a natural geographic rivalry there, I would think. Was that a thing back in the day? Seattle and Portland? It would make the road trips a little bit easier, I think, for teams. You know, you can do the Pacific Northwest swing. Good luck, everybody. Now, Stephen Punk, were you saying earlier that that Cleveland is a lock tonight? I passed on that Cleveland Washington game, which I think is going to be starting soon. I'm on Dallas minus three and a half at Orlando. This is for entertainment purposes only, folks, not financial advice. Minus seven and a half Toronto hosting Phoenix. I got the Celtics. My six and a half at Minnesota. I'm going with a short road dog, Denver, at OKC. And OKC has been been cover monsters, and I, I think they're due for a bit of a regression. I got Utah minus seven in Utah, hosting the San Antonio Spurs. I, I'm going with Pelicans minus four. At Portland, no no Damian Lillard. I did not take a side for Memphis at the Lakers, but just for just for like lottery scratcher fun, I took uh, I took a couple propositions. Anthony Davis thirty eight and eight. It's not I don't think it's gonna happen. Plus the Lakers win forty five to one. Put a dollar on that just for lottery scratcher fun. John Morant thirty eight and eight. At 86 to 1, I don't think that's going to happen either, but just for funsies, just in case, in case it turns out to be a shootout. Yeah, William saying expansion, probably the only argument I listen to when there's a Jordan versus LeBron James GOAT debate. Some of those teams in the 90s were watered watered down the league pretty badly, yeah. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people, like, there's Eric Pascal for the Warriors, nice. Bill with the Warriors. Rookie Silver looked pretty good in that Rising Stars game. Um, I think uh, I think people wax poetic about the, 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 the quality of the 80s and 90s basketball rough 80s and 90s basketball when the scores were 85 to 84 and stuff like that but there were some not so good teams a lot of them so I feel like 30 is a good is a good spot for the NBA I mean if anything they're never going to contract but you know 28 teams might improve quality but I just don't think it's going to happen I think they're going to stay at 30 for a while
Uh, Cody saying, what, what are we breaking tonight? Well, everything. Every time someone asks, what are we breaking tonight? My answer is everything. Everything's breaking tonight. Get into it. Pundary Witherspoon for the Spurs. That'll be for Mark Copeland. There is Derek Jones Jr. Fair or unfair? I guess. I guess the judges screwed up some scoring thing. Derek Jones Jr. Dunk contest. Kobe, rest in peace. Steven says Cavs are a lock. What's the number on the cat? I think. Why? Well, tell us why you think Cavs are a lock tonight, Stephen Punk. We got Matisse Tybel, relic for the Sixers. I'll go to Tony. Oh, this is just the weigh-in. I see. I don't know anything about boxing, but there seems to be a lot of hype around this. Or maybe it's just because ESPN's broadcasting it. ESPN's hyping this up. There's Jackson Hayes. I'm just want. I just want the NBA. Give me some more basketball. There's the Pelicans. That'll be for Rob. There's Kelly Olenek. Wait, did someone say, did Catley say that the Lakers got a Morris on their, a Morris twin on their team? I don't think so. I think they'd have to move, well, they'd have to, someone would, I think their roster is full. They'd have to move somebody. I don't know how they're going to figure all that out. All right, Jalen Hands, rookie silver. R.J. Barrett. Jeremy, what's going on? Jeremy S. in the house. Instant impact, R.J. Barrett going to the Knicks. Diane. Jalen Hands. Going to Mark and the Nets. Oh, Stephen Punk, you're saying they the Cavs get the new coast, the new coach boost, new coach bump. There's Kevin Knox. I considered that. I think that's why I, I that's why I just didn't take a side. I was just like, I'll just pass on the game. Kevin Knox, a Knox in the box for Diane and the Knicks. Two Jeremys. We've got Jeremy S. Jeremy P. In the house. What's going on? All right. Four more boxes to go. Any boxing fans here? What do we, How do we feel about... I don't know anything about these guys. Tyson Fury and, and, and this... And Gene Gene Wilder. Willy Wonka. I I I I know nothing about I'll pretend I know something about boxing. I'm sure I'm sure I'll have an opinion on the on the match tomorrow. Jeremy says, Jeremy sees value in Wilder to win by decision at plus 900, 9 to 1. I have to buy it on ESPN? I already have, I already subscribed to ESPN. What's the point? How long before, if I got into the ring with Tyson Fury, how long would it take before before like I am declared like dead. You think like second one, the first punch I take, I'll, I'll, I'll be deceased? I think so. Oh, it's pay-per-view, but e ESPN just hosts, I, I see. Okay, all right, fair enough. Ooh, Rich gives me six seconds, Blake says three. Trace is point two. 
Rich gives me six seconds. Yeah, I'll dance around a little bit. Dance around a little bit, and then and then I'll be deceased. Both the dudes are six eight. All right. Hmm. But see, I have feeling I I have a better chance at running around some heavyweights than I would with like featherweights, right? I mean, I couldn't out quick them. I mean, I couldn't out quick these guys. But I feel like I have a slightly better chance at out quicking a heavyweight, which is a. What would the odds be if I if I got into the ring with Tyson Fury? If I got into the ring with Tyson Fury, the odds of me landing a punch anywhere on this person's body, maybe even if it's the person's calf. Joe lands a punch. What are the odds? 100 to 1? 200 to 1? 500 to 1? That's... That's plus uh, plus fifty thousand. What would Vegas put that line right there? Don't don't quit my day job, says Vanilla Gorilla. I don't know. This would be like for charity. they use a digital scale Why are they still using like those old like slider scales right there this is 2020 you guys pay-per-view and they can't afford a scale let's get a decent scale out there you guys all right there's cam reddish and there's hachimura Green Pulsar, look at that. Out of 25, that is strong. Rob with the Wizards. Twenty-three out of twenty-five. Nice. Rudy Gobert. Yeah, that's that is huge for a blaster. That's exactly why Rich wanted to trade two for one on that team. Another blaster break is in the store, folks, if you want to go for it. Another full case blaster. These are a lot of fun. Kind of a longer break, so we got we got some time to time to kind of discuss a lot of topics if that's what you're into. Save a Larry Bird silver. Callie would put twenty bucks on me to land a punch at a thousand to one. I would wait till those odds get a lot higher. <laughs> I'm not gonna get close, DeAndre. Like, and both of these guys, Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury, each one of those guys' reach is probably my height. I'm pretty sure. What's their, what's, someone go look up their reach. <laughs> nice, only two left in Optic. Pick your team three. Excellent. What stores are selling blasters? Jaspiescasebreaks.com. That's the only store you need to know. I have no idea, Brad. I, mo everyone seems to say all of this stuff is sold out everywhere they go. All right. Cameron Johnson. That is uh, Rob with the Suns. Another hollow. We got Isaiah Roby. Google says Fury has an 85-inch reach. Oh, boy. Blake thinks I could get a tap in before getting knocked out. That'll count. I think Vegas will grade that as a punch. Isaiah Roby relic goes to Justin. Kobe.
What's uh, what's eighty five divided by twelve? <laughs> it's a lot of reach. A lot of reach. Kobe goes to the Lakers. That goes to Josh. There's John Collins, Ben Simmons. Let's see what we close with. Like a silver John Morant would be nice. A silver Zion. Silver insert name of popular rookie would be nice. Evan Turner with the Atlanta Hawks going to Rob. Another Hachimuri for Rob. There's a Zion instant impact for the Pelicans. That'll go to Rob. Better fitting penny sleeve here. Let's sleeve that guy up. the base Hachimura. They all count. All right, and there you go. Pretty solid break, ladies and gentlemen. Another 20 boxes in the store right now. Check it out, jazbeescasebreaks.com. This is Joe, and I'll break that with you next time. Bye-bye.